It's Clash of the Titans then The sky collapse and I relax The abstract now motherfucker when I silence them I'm soon to back, I'm soon to snap If you, you rap humans ass Stupid bastards actually useless cats And moving past you soon you'll be doomed to act In solitude I learned the truth is false So burn the few that learned it too Then walk home Sympathy For the race of men I have none Other niggas ain't shit to me what is going on guys, Heaven here from Heaven Stomps and today I'm bringing you guys another amazing gameplay and today I've got for you a 109 kills non-lethal gameplay with a 12.7k score just choked the 13k score but you know it's what it is so today I am using the FAL with red dot in stock with uh, flak jacket, uh, toughness scavenger and I believe dexterity and I think I'm running the TAC 45 secondary with a C4 equipped, one of the best equipments in the game. And it's really OP, so please use that if you want to get lots of kills. And, <clears throat> but anyways, um, in this gameplay, it's actually a very special gameplay because uh, a guy on my team, um, NDC10 or the Phenomenal 1 HD, got 100 plus non lethals too. He went 109, he went 100 in kills and 9 deaths. And I went 109 and 11 deaths. So we got both 100 plus non lethals, which was pretty crazy. I was not expecting that to happen, but we were in a pretty easy lobby. So um, if you see a couple people not even be able to move, uh, I'm sorry for that. But they do not have left thumbs, so they cannot use that analog stick. And yeah, so today I'm going to be just thanking you guys for 60 subs in less than a week. I reached 60 subs or 50 subs um, two days ago, which was amazing. I got that in like five days after like two, three uploads, two, three uploads, I think. And um, you guys really seem to like my triple nuclear gameplay. And it got lots of likes. I think it got around like 25, 26 likes. That's amazing. I never thought that would happen. And I also uploaded a 102 and 11 gameplay um, earlier on this week. And go, please go check that out. It does not have m as many likes as the triple nuclear but if we could get 15 likes on that video and 15 likes on this video that would make me very happy and yeah so um today I'm basically going to talk about um just black ops 2 in general so like league play um multiplayer and zombies and where I thought they went wrong and the main thing I thought that they did wrong was that they spent way too much time on campaign. Like, if, you, if you've if you ever gone through the campaign Black Ops 2, I mean, I haven't. I played, like, 30 minutes of it. But you can tell they, they spent way too much time on the campaign. They spent way too much time designing the campaign. Way too much time doing the story mode on campaign. And yet, nobody really plays campaign. Unless you don't have internet. Everyone just skips campaign. Like, when they say, when you first buy the game, and you log on. And then, they're like... Are you sure you would, wouldn't like to play campaign? And then you always press no. You want to go to multiplayer. E everyone does that. Everyone just wants to see what they did in multiplayer. Like, and I don't think they spend enough time in multiplayer. Like, they have to have a balance. Like, if I were to say, like, campaign, they would have to spend, like, 30% of their time, and then, or 20%, and then for online, they should spend 50%, and then zombies, 30%, because that's where most people play. Like, half to more than half of the people play multiplayer all the time and then they sometimes go to zombies and not a lot of people play league play about 5,000 people on PSV play league play daily so uh, and I don't think they spend too much time on league play which is great because league play should just be straightforward it should just be like uh, 4v4, 6v6, start up the game, play the match rules are there, banned weapons are there and boom you got a whole new game, <coughs> game type and yeah, which is actually pretty fun with the team, you know, 4v4. You could just run with the team or you can run solo. All those are fun options. And another thing that I found that they did wrong was that they didn't spend enough time on designing zombie maps. Like, yes, they had detailed maps like Transit, which was, like, pretty nice to play, but they just got really boring quick. Like, there wasn't, there wasn't much to do in zombies. Like, Grief Mode, yeah, Grief Mode was alright, but that was only good for, like... The first couple weeks and maybe to go back to just for fun if you're having hard times in pubs or raging too much in league play or whatever so a zombie I would great I would give them a B plus on that and then on the multiplayer I'd give them a C minus because nothing's balanced um, the maps are pretty horrible for ground war and just domination straightforward 
Like, slums on Domination 66, you can spawn trap a team so easily, and so on hijacked, and it's just really easy. Like, you can just watch the gameplays from Monster 3 compared to um, Black Ops 2. Like, there's about 5 to 6 maps on Black Ops 2 where you can perfectly spawn trap and get 100 plus non lethals, um, triple nuclears, quad nuclears, um, 200 plus lethals, but on Monster 3, there's only like a couple maps, like Terminal and um arcading are the only two maps i can really think of at the moment that i have a dirty spawn trap and get quick moabs on so i don't know what they did with the maps there they sort of made it really small too most maps are small some maps are big but i all in all they just didn't really do a good enough job it was a way over anticipated game and they did not really meet the standards that moment for three did even though moment for three had a really shitty Death streaks like Dead Man's Hand and Final Stand, which really pissed me off. But I did like how they had Specialist and the Moab and Moab for Three, which made it really fun to get gameplays and go for. So actually gave you an objective. But in Black Ops Two, if you want to run non lethals, all you get is a stupid nuclear medal, which is nothing. Like I wish it would just be a thirty thirty gun streak Moab, like or a nuke, and you don't have to call it in. You just get it. That would be so much more fun than just having to get a medal. Like, a medal is kind of stupid. It's just like getting a headshot medal. Oh, we got a headshot medal. Why can't it just give you an actual nuclear? Like, 30 gun streak, that's more than a mob, and it's more than a nuke. So it's obviously harder to get, so why don't you give a, um, a bigger prize or something like that? But, anyways, um, if you've ever played League Play, you will kind of see that there's a lot of people so if they meet a team who's um, masters or something, full of masters, they'll like dashboard or like um, do something weird to get out of the game. Like they have to fix that. Like they gotta do. If you leave out of the pregame lobby, I think you should have probation too. Unless it, the map set is not or the map is not set and you don't see the other team, then if you leave, I think um, you should have probation because a lot of people do that and it takes forever to find a match after that. So it's really annoying. And I think. Uh, but one of the best sides about League Play is that most people, when they play it, they have mics, which is good to communicate and stuff, but um, I also like how they did the MLG um, rules, which is really cool because it can give people who don't play GB or MLG to have the chance to play MLG, which is pretty cool for Black Ops 2 or Treyarch because they really support um, competitive play. And uh, guys, sorry about this, but the commentary is about to come to an end because the gameplay is about to come to an end. And I hope you guys enjoyed this 109 and 11 kills non lethals on the map hijacked. And this is one of my best gameplays, so please leave a like in the comment down below if you ever want to play with me or add me on PS3. So I'm out. Peace.